Nico looked well considering her ordeal. Okay, tell me what you know about Condor. Condor Transglobal exports Aztec and Mayan relics from Central America to Europe. But that's just a cover for the real business. Drug smuggling. What proof do you have? Nothing yet. Do you know where Condor is based? In Central America. A place called Cuaramonte. I saw that name on a docket downstairs. Tell me about this Karzak guy. Well, I saw him for only a few minutes, but he frightens me. I got the impression that Pablo was nervous when he was around too. His eyes, they're like a wild animal's, like a tiger. That's what scared me most about him. He looked so unpredictable and dangerous. Did you know Ubier's wife was a film star? No, I didn't know he was married. What happened to her? She died. In mysterious circumstances, apparently. How mysterious? I heard she was murdered, possibly by Ubia himself. A murderer, huh? André said he was something of a celebrity. Did I hear you refer to Inspector Moo? Yes, you remember him? Of course I do. But I thought he was dead. Oh no! He reappeared after the broken sword case had blown over. When he found out who was in with the Neo Templars, he went into hiding. Moo knew more than was good for him. Does he know about our involvement with the case? If he does, he's not telling. Still, he got a sudden promotion. Did that Indian guy mistreat you? If you forget about the abduction, verbal threats and bondage, no. Well, what about the little guy? I don't think he knows where he is or what he's doing here. The big guy, Pablo, he brought Titipoco from the jungle. Titi what? Titipoco. That's what I heard Pablo call the dwarf. Do you recognize this? Is that the dart which knocked me out? That's right. I kept it as a souvenir. Have you any idea who this little statue is supposed to be? I'm not very well acquainted with my deities, Georges. But whatever his name, he sure is ugly. I found these in your bag. Oh, they were a gift. I know, I read the note. God knows what was going through Andre's mind. I think that's quite plain enough. Look, the little guy downstairs was chained up with these. That must have been Pablo's doing. I don't blame him though. That little guy is dangerous. You're still sore about that poison dart? Of course I'm sore. It was a large crate with no label. The crate was labeled, Danger. Live contents do not drop. The statue looked way too heavy for me to move. but decided not to risk dropping it and meeting the live contents. It was a device to prevent the elevator doors closing when they were obstructed. It was the strip of masking tape which the big Indian had used to gag Nico. Hopefully, the tape would prevent those doors from closing and stop the Indian from being able to call the elevator. not designed to open. These doors were not going to open.
It was a hydraulic hand cart. The pallet rose about six inches off the floor, and I said a silent prayer to whoever had discovered the power of hydraulics. What on earth are you doing? Trying to raise the statue so I can hook it to that pulley. Is that really going to help us? I like to keep myself occupied in times of stress. It would be much easier to attach the rope to the statue first. The statue looked way too heavy for me to move. It was too heavy for me to move on my own. Could you give me a hand to push this statue? What for? This, my dear, is our passport to freedom. If you say so, dear. Okay, push! <laughs> Great teamwork. Nice to be working with you again, Mr. Stobart. A cable stretched way out across the docks to a building in the distance. I thought about hanging from the cable with my bare hands, but it was too far to the other end of the cable to escape that way. Nico, I have a great idea. George, where have you been? Never mind that. Do you have the Mayan stone? Maybe I have, but uh... Don't argue, André. Give the stone to George. Well, of course. If you say so, Nicole. Thank you so much, André. George, he told me you'd been kidnapped, my dear. I'm glad to see he was mistaken. Oh, but it was true. If it hadn't been for George... I wouldn't be here now. That's not finished yet. Karzak's thugs will be back for that stone, you can bet. The best lead that we have is Coromonte City. Coromonte? It's in Central America. That's where Oubier gets his artifacts. That's all we needed to know. Come on, Georges. Coromonte, the traveler's rear entrance to Central America. Well, that's how it was translated in the brochure. We didn't know what we were looking for but the offices of Condor Trans Global seemed a good place to start. Cabs. Let's ask someone how to get to Quaramonte City. Okay. Keep your eyes peeled for any sign of Condor Transglobal. Mm -hmm. 
It looked to me like an early portrait of Orson Welles. In Cuadramonte, defacing a poster was probably a capital offense. Now, I like most animals, but experience had made me wary of goats, and cats, and dogs. The woman had an impressive display of gourds. The guy was selling fish. A couple of musicians stood watching life go on around them. They looked pretty depressed. The guy wasn't showing much enthusiasm selling his wares. Those things are gourds, aren't they? See. Hey, mind the footwear, lady. Do you have to spit like that? See. Si. You think I want to swallow that crap? What I mean is, it can't be doing your business any good. I'm sure you'd sell a lot more gourds if you didn't. Nobody ever complained before. Okay, I can see I'm not getting through. Do you have crabs? No, only fish. Nice fish. Thanks. If by some remote chance I ever need a fish, I'll be back. Do you recognize this statue? Si, senor. It is very, very bad luck. Uh, that is Tezcatlipoca, the night hunter. The guy looked scared out of his wits. Go away. Hey, cheer up, guys. What's with the long faces? Our pipe player has been arrested and thrown in jail. Poor Miguel. He never broke the law in his life. Why was Miguel put in jail? For playing folk music. What? It's true, senor. He insisted on playing traditional Cuaramonte music, even though it's illegal. Why don't you try playing a tune to cheer yourselves up? No. We should be looking for real jobs. We could earn ten times as much down the mines. My cousin Ramirez was earning eight pesos an hour. Before he lost his legs in the accident. Tell me about the accident at the mine. There was an explosion at Teoculcan. Thirty miners were buried alive. They got some of them out, though. Two of them, including your cousin, and they left half of him behind. Would either of you guys care for a biscuit? A dog biscuit, senor? Are you trying to insult us? No, really. They're good. We'll take your word for it. Have you any idea what this is? No, senor. Me neither. Have you seen anything like... I, the hungry chief. Why are you carrying that thing around with you, senor? Don't you know who it is? Sure, it's Tezcatlipoca, but it's only a little carving. It brings death, senor. Death and destruction. What do you make of this little worm? No good. It's dead. Sure it's dead. You think I'd carry it around in my pocket if it wasn't? Take a look at the design on this label. I have seen that before. Where? There was a ship flying a flag just like that. When did you see this ship? Three months ago. It was here, at the docks. What was the ship with the Condor flag carrying? I don't know, senor. We weren't allowed near the docks. That's right. Usually we meet the ships when they tie up. We play to the tourists. Well, when the Condor ship came in, we were told to go away. Do you guys know anything about a total eclipse? What is it? 
It's like when the sun is hidden by the moon. It's crazy. My cousin Alfredo swears he saw it happen once. But that was after he stupidly consumed a cocktail of peyote and antibiotics. The old woman was preparing a food that consisted of ground maize and lots of spittle. Hi. Lovely bread. Que? Bread. Uh, pan? Si, pan. Uh, maybe I'll come back later when I'm hungry. The man was puffing away at a crudely rolled cigar. Hi there. Uh, what have you got for sale? Que? I said, what have you got... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Hi. You want to buy something? Uh, no, not really. I got cabbages. Buy a cabbage, senor. I don't think so. I didn't come all this way to buy vegetables. Listen, have you heard of Condor Trans Global? No. Buy a cabbage. I'll give you a discount on bulk purchases. I'm not in the cabbages. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Aye, Tetzcatlipoca. Put it away, senor. Tetzcatlipoca brings nothing but evil. The poor guy was so freaked, he didn't even mention his cabbages. See ya. George Stobart, well of all the... Mrs. Henderson. Boy, this is some coincidence, huh? When you've been married to a fruitcake like Dwayne as long as I have, you stop believing in coincidence. I'd met Pearl and Dwayne on the other side of the globe in Syria. He was an army veteran who suspected he was working for the CIA, but wasn't sure. She was less obviously deranged. Is Dwayne here with you, Mrs. Henderson? Why, sure, I couldn't leave him home alone. Since Dwayne came back from the war, we couldn't bear to be apart. So, where is he now? We ain't speaking. Why aren't you speaking to Dwayne? Because he's an old spoil sports sour puss. I want to visit one of those old pyramid places, but Dwayne says he has to stay in town. Right. And you don't want to go on your own. Well, there's no point in going to the pyramid if there's no one around to take my picture. Is Dwayne still working for the CIA? If he is, he doesn't know it. He's what they call a snoozer. Uh. Don't you mean a sleeper? No, this is different. He used to think he worked for them, but the psychotherapy cured him of that. What he doesn't realize is that now he really does work for them. At least that's the way I understood it. What brings you to Cuaramonte, Pearl? What takes me just about anywheres. The market. You drove 2,000 miles to go shopping? Shopping is my role in the economy of the great design, George. What do you make of this stone, Pearl? Oh, that's pretty. What's that thing supposed to be, a rabbit? I believe it's a coyote. Well, it sure is cute. I was surprised she didn't ask me where she could buy one. What does this mean to you, Pearl? What cute little feathers. Why, if you had two of those, they'd sure make nice earrings. This isn't intended for frivolous personal adornment, Pearl. It's a dart tipped with a fast-acting, muscle-numbing poison. Pardon me, I stand corrected, honey. Sometimes I got the feeling that communication with Pearl was like sending signals out into space. Maybe, if you waited long enough, you'd get an intelligent answer back. But it was a long shot. What do you make of this statue, Pearl? 
Hoo-wee, that's a spitting image of Dwayne's brother Sheridan. A little less body hair, maybe, but it's him all right. Look at this, Pearl. A tequila worm. Don't you bring that thing anywhere as near me, honey. I swear I'll scream like a hog on a hot plate. Take a look at this news cutting, Pearl. You'll have to read it to me, George. I left my specs in a gay bar in Santa Barbara. Well, it's about an eclipse of the sun, which is due to occur in a few weeks' time. You'd think the government would warn us about these kind of things. Uh, uh it's not dangerous or anything. Apparently, the best place to view the eclipse is right here in Cuaramonte. Oh, my. She didn't appear to be the slightest bit interested. Catch you later, Pearl. I recognized the woman immediately. Last time I'd seen her was in a market in Syria. It was Pearl Henderson, the globe-trotting bargain hunter. It was a beat-up old wreck of an army truck. It was Pearl's husband, Duane. Hey, Mr. Anderson. Good to see you again. Do I know you, son? George Stobart, remember? In Syria? I sold you a statue. I remember that. Pearl was mighty vexed when the paint came off. Look, I'm sorry. I'll give you back the $50. No, no. You suckered me fair and square. Are you still working for... you know who? You know I can't talk about my work, George. That's between me and Uncle Sam. Does the name Karzak mean anything to you? Sounds like a comic book villain to me, son. He's the man behind Condor and the rat who kidnapped Nico. You know, the first time I met you, I was deeply impressed with your naive simplicity. I said to Pearl, if we ever had kids, I would have wanted a boy like George. But I underestimated you, son. Did you know that traditional music is illegal in Caramonte? Is that so? Seems reasonable to me. No, really. The leader of the band in the square has been in prison just because of the music he played. I don't know who you've been talking to, but that fella, Miguel, he's an agitator. What's the real reason the musician was imprisoned? Handed out subversive literature at the mines. That so-called general was waiting for Miguel when he got back into town. Marched him off to jail at gunpoint on a charge of inciting a riot. I spoke to Pearl earlier. Yeah? Did she mention that we had a kind of falling out? Yes, she did. She'll get over it. Did you drive all the way down here? Hell no. Pearl did the driving while I followed the maps. The way she handled the wheel, you'd think she'd been trucking half her life. Why did you bring a huge truck like that? George, I'm on a top secret classified mission for Uncle Sam. This truck is a rolling bomb. 400 pounds of nitrate fertilizer with a plastic initiator. They'll hear the bang in China. Gee, I'm really looking forward to this. Would you like a biscuit, Dwayne? Oh, no. Those gourmet dog snacks bring me out in a rash. You've tried them? They were on special offer. Pearl bought a whole crate. When I asked her if she was thinking of keeping a dog, too, she just laughed. Do you know anything about a shipping company called Condor Transglobal? Sure I do. You have to get up pretty early to catch Dwayne with his pants down. What? You beat me to it? Condor Transglobal is all wound up. Seems like my investigations scared them off. What do you think of these panties, Dwayne? Lord, hot stuff, George. You buy those for your girl? No. A guy we know in Paris bought him for her. Oh, you're a threesome then. Why are you looking at me like that, George? Forget it. Stealing trucks wasn't my style. He was a friendly looking guy.
Hi, I'm George Stobart. What can you tell me about the mining company? The general closed down one of their mines after the explosion. Lots of folks lost their lives. I was lucky. I only lost my legs. Can you tell me anything about this stone? That's obsidian. It's a volcanic rock which has cooled so fast that... Yeah, yeah, look, I'm not interested in geology. You're not? I suppose you want to know about the carved picture on it. That's right. Then the guy you should talk to is the professor. He was here a while ago. Do you know what this statue represents? Should do. I used to carve things like that to sell to tourists. But it scared people around here, so I stopped. Do you recognize the design on this label? Why, sure. That's the Condor Transglobal Shipping Company logo. Do they have an office in Cuaramonte? No, but they ship out from here. That's what I thought. Did you see the ship with the Condor flag? Mmm, no. But the dock is just the other side of the square. Might as well be the other side of the moon. Have you heard about the eclipse of the sun? Sure, I'm having a party to celebrate it. Drop by. Really? Sure. Plenty of food, plenty of wine, and everyone's invited, except the general. What do you think of these panties? Awesome. You wear them? Uh, no. Someone sent them to my girlfriend. Thoughtful. Labano tells me he's been seeing a lot of you. We meet sometimes for lunch, a drink. After you'd gone back to the States, I was pretty lonely, you know. Lonely? You must have been desperate. Couldn't you just visit the zoo or something? Would you like a biscuit? Gourmet dog? Have you been eating those things, Georges? Sure, they're great. Guess what this is. Go on, guess. It's wrought iron, probably from a chimney stack on an old stove. Uh, well, I suppose it could be. How did she know that? My grandfather used to work in a foundry. <coughs> Take a look at this, Nico. That's disgusting, Georges. Why are you carrying it around with you? I don't know. I just can't seem to part with it. Take a look at this. An eclipse of the sun. Why the sudden interest in astronomy? I found the cutting in Ubier's house. Apparently, it's only visible from Central America. Take a look at this. Mon Dieu! Where did you get that kind of money? It's not mine. I found that statement at Ubier's house. Do you have any theories about the stone? I think that design represents a dog, a Mexican dog. So, this is the sacred Chihuahua stone? Sheesh. <laughs> hey, Nico! Hola, señora. Hi. We were wondering... 
I was talking to the lady, Chico. Hi, my name is Nicole Collard. Concha Garcia, how can I help you, sister? The corporation I represent is considering a major investment in Cuaramonte. Your advice, as the head of an obviously successful concern, is precisely what I'm after. My assistant, Mr. Stobart, has a few questions he'd like to ask you. Have you heard of a man named Karzak? No, who is he? He's the reason we came to Cuaramonte. We think he's running a drug ring. Well, I hope you find him, but I've never heard the name before. Can you tell me about the accident at the mine? Accident? It was sabotage. Somebody wanted my mine closed down for good. Do you have any evidence that the mine was sabotaged? Not yet, but I'll get to the bottom of it. There'd been trouble at that mine for several months. The workforce was getting smaller every day. Someone had started a rumor among the men that the mine was cursed. Now the entire operation has been closed down. Where's the site of the mine? Several days upriver at a remote area known as Teoculcan. Would you like a dog biscuit? Would you like a smack in the mouth, Chico? Does this stone mean anything to you? I think it is a spirit stone carved by a Mayan priest, no? I don't know which of their many gods it represents. Can you tell me anything about this statue? It is Tezcatlipoca, the god of death and pestilence. That fetish would be considered by many to be a bad omen. Do you recognize the icon on this label? Condor Transglobal. Did the company operate here in Caramonte? Yes, they ran an old container ship, the Mayan Princess. Do you know who owned Condor Transglobal? I have no idea. Have you heard about the forthcoming eclipse? I don't take much interest in things like that. One of the boys might know about it. Would you be interested in these panties? They look about your size. Is that your best line, Chico? I'm serious. They were an unwanted gift. Put them away before you get overexcited. It was Conchita, the owner of the mining company. It was a store cupboard. It was one of Conchita's posse of hunks. Hi. Good afternoon and welcome to Consolidated Mining. If you are planning to stay in Cuaramante City, may I recommend the Consolidated Mining Experience, an interactive hands-on tour of one of our deepest mines, with talking tour guides available in three different languages. A tour of a mine? Well, this is a mining company. What else did you expect? Do you know anything about the eclipse that's due soon? Me? No, senor. Do you know where I could find Senor Karzak? No, senor. A disgustingly handsome man. Are you looking forward to the eclipse of the sun? Not especially. Are you? I don't know. I've never seen one. All I know about eclipses is that you shouldn't try to view them with the naked eye. Please. Go away and let me get on with my work. Ever heard of a guy called Karzak? Can't you see I'm busy? If I don't finish this stock report, the boss will be mad as hell. I couldn't understand why the female owner had surrounded herself with men like this. The guy was working away like an automaton. Ever hear of a guy called Karzak? No, sir. Did you know there's an eclipse of the sun in a few weeks' time? Yeah, Joe told me about it. He's having a party and we're all invited. Me and the boys are dressing up as evil monks. Yeah? Cool. Do you know anything about the eclipse? Yes, and I'm really looking forward to seeing it. 
I heard it's going to be pretty spectacular. It's in a few weeks' time, isn't it? Nine days. Thanks. Ever heard of a guy called Karzak? No. There was nothing else I wanted to talk to Nico about at that time. I had nothing else to talk about. I hear you drove all the way to Cuaramonte in a truck. That's right. You would not believe the state of some of those roads. It makes me damn right sad to think there's still some places you can't reach in an automobile. In this day and age, you'd think there'd be decent highways just about anywhere folk choose to go. Did you know that the truck was full of explosives? Whatever gave you that idea, as if I couldn't guess. Your husband. He was exaggerating, wasn't he? Sometimes I wonder how I'm gonna cope with Dwayne's over-fertile imagination. Catch you later, Pearl. Hey, Nico, 